Hello you beautiful, beautiful people, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, welcome back to the channel, I hope you are well. Today we're jumping into the final festival playlist for Series 25 and the Spring season and completing this week's Forza and Challenges, a British icon for those all important 200 Forza points and the much needed percentage towards the festival playlist. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing because we are very close to 10,000 subscribers and let's complete this week's Forza and Challenges, a British icon. First things first, do you own Lake Lodge? If not, why not? It will double all Force on points for all Force on activities. So weekly Force on challenges, daily Force on challenges, and Force on lives every hour on the hour. It's quite expensive at 5 million credits or is free with the VIP pass. The next thing you're going to need is a 1965 Mini Cooper S. Mine is running 275 horsepower. Four wheel drive and unfortunately cannot be picked up in the auto show. This car is in actual fact a barn find. If you haven't found that barn find with the Mini, go ahead and check out the auction house. There's usually a couple there for sale. If you'd like to use my tune for the 65 Mini, go ahead and search my gamer tag Skippy4631 or the file name Skippy YouTube. Or you can use the share code 14108071. Now, we will be taking a look at the Forson shop at the end of the video, but first, let's complete this week's Forson Challenges, a British icon. Chapter 1, Little Car, Big Personality. Own and drive one of the most famous cars ever built, the 1965 Mini Cooper S. Own and drive, quite simply hop outside at your festival, house or castle, drive two seconds down the road, Little Car, Big Personality, completed. Now with chapter one, little car, bigger personality completed, owning and driving a 1965 Mini Cooper S, it's on to chapter two, plucky off-road hero. It was a rally champion back in the day, so win two dirt racing series events in your Mini 65 to get a feel for it. Now for this challenge, head on over to your map and filter by the dirt racing series, just makes them that little bit easier to find. Now it can be a sprint race, or a circuit race, there is no stipulation in which one we have to do. I'm heading on down to the Broadway Village Scramble, where I have a blueprint race waiting. And here is the blueprint in question. It is called Mini Forzathon. It is definitely in the Dirt Racing series. It is one lap long, will take you about 30 to 40 seconds to complete. And the share code actually working this week, 149-728. 693. Driver type difficulty for the weekly Force on Challenges does not matter. There's no reason to make it any harder than it needs to be. I'm going new racer. Here we go then, race number one. This blueprint couldn't be easier. Driver is going to overshoot the first corner, get on the brakes a little bit early. Nice hairpin to the left. We've got a nice little straight up to the next corner, which is going to be another left. And another slight hairpin. Tuck it in, dab a handbrake just for fun. And there's the finish line, nice and easy, nice and quick. That was actually under 30 seconds and across the line, race one complete. And race number two complete, across the line, first place. And there we go, plucky off-road hero completed. With chapter two, plucky off-road hero completed, winning two dirt racing series events, it's on to chapter three, Asphalt Champion. It was a champion on Asphalt 2, win two road racing series events in your Mini 65. For this chapter, once again, head on over to your map, but this time filtered by the road racing series, making them that little bit easier to find. Now you can do a sprint race or a circuit race, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to be heading on over to the Greendale Club circuit, where I have another blueprint race waiting. Here is the blueprint in question, again called a Mini Force on, but this time in the Road Racing Series. This one's a sprint race at just 0.3 miles in length, so nice and quick, nice and easy. Share code for this one though isn't working right now, but both share codes for the Dirt Racing Series and the Road Racing Series will be in the description and in the comments below. Here we go then, race number one. This is nice and easy. Driver tires will take a right. We just need to head straight again, keeping them on new race of difficulty. And across the line, first place, race one, complete. Here we go then, race number two, just repeating the same race. Again, driver tires take a right, we go straight on. And across the line, first place, race two, complete. And there we go, Asphalt Champion, completed. With chapter three, Asphalt Champion now completed, winning two road racing 
series events, it's on to the fourth and final chapter, Runner Bean. Now you've won everything, celebrate in style by earning a total of 75,000 skill score in your mini 65. Before taking on this chapter and trying to gain 75,000 skill score, there are some perks in the car mastery you want to pick up. The first one is custom sound system. If you're lucky enough to get a skill song whilst doing this challenge, this perk will build a skill multiplier much faster when a skill song is playing. We have skill legend. Your car's skill multiplier can go to seven. We have timeless design. Skill chains end 1.5 seconds later than normal and we have exceptional handling your car's skill multiplier builds three times as fast all these perks will help you get to that 75,000 skill score a lot quicker now this challenge can be completed absolutely anywhere on the map but for those of you that have been around the channel a little while you know that i like to do my skill based challenges over at the greendale airstrip now you don't need to get 75,000 skill score in one chain you can do it over multiple chains but if you do want to do it in one hit, you're looking for about 11,000 times by seven, providing you have that car mastery perk. So quite simply, smash and crash your way around the airstrip, gaining a skill score until you reach about 11,000 times by seven. You'll probably reach the 11,000 long before you hit times by seven. Just keep going though until you get that seven multiplier and bank your skill score, and that'll be challenge completed. So a 22,000 skill score times by seven, that gives us 154,000 skill score, well above what we need to get chapter four complete. And that finishes off this week's Force on Challenges, a British icon. And with the four challenges now complete, let's go ahead and take a look at this week's Force on Shop. Got a fairly interesting shop this week. The first cart for grabs is the 1995 Ferrari F50, 650 Force on points. Second card for grabs, the 2014 Maserati Ghibli SQ4, 450 Forza Thumb points. Clothing, we've got the Golden Brogues and the Golden Tash, 100 Forza Thumb points for each of those. And if you're feeling lucky and got some spare Forza Thumb points, knock it around, go ahead and purchase a normal wheel spin for 40 Forza Thumb points. Or you can nab yourself a super duper wheel spin for 150 Forza Thumb points. Now the reason I say this week's Force and Shop is quite interesting is because the 1995 Ferrari F50 is actually available at the Auto Show for 2 million credits. So you can either save yourself some credits and spend 650 for some points, or if you don't have the points or you want to save some points, you can grab this car from the Auto Show for 2 million credits. Now as for the 2014 Maserati Ghibli SQ4, it's not available in the Auto Show, it is a festival playlist and Force and Shop exclusive so in my view my opinion these cars should be the other way around the ghibli costing 650 and the ferrari f50 costing 450 let me know what you think in the comments below so there we go guys that's this week's force on challenges done and dusted a british icon completed 200 force on points in the bank and 15 percent towards your spring season if you have any questions about this week's force on challenges do hit me up in the comments, I'll do my best to help you out or someone here on the channel will. Before I say my goodbyes, I wanna make an announcement. We now have channel memberships here on the channel. There is a join button below the video and a join button over on the channel page. Now you are under no obligation to do this whatsoever. It is entirely up to you. But what you get in return is a nice badge next to your name, which will level up over time. You'll get some pretty cool emotes to use in chat during live streams. And if you're part of Discord, you get your own YouTube members channel and YouTube members role, which is actually gold. Again, you are under no obligation to do this, but if you do choose to do it, you will be supporting the channel and I thank you very much. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Stay safe guys and have an awesome day.